welcome back ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head battle between the $100 Shimano SLX against the $200 Corrado 70. Let's get right into it. Right off the bat there isn't much difference in the boxes. Um, on the sides you can see all the features. The Corrado and the SLX are both 7 to 1 gear ratio. The SLX has 11 pounds of drag. The Corrado only has 10. The Corrado weighs 6.5 ounces while the SLX weighs 6.9 ounces. And they, the Corrado has 2 plus 1 ball bearings while this one has 3 plus 1 ball bearings. And they both bring in 28 inches per turn. No. Let's get into the unboxing. Cardo is up first. Let's put this to the side. And the SLX. Put the boxes to the side. They both come packaged in this bubble wrap like material things. Here's the Corrado. And here's the SLX. Shimano always has very high quality reels. No matter whether it's their budget or their higher end reels. So, I expect this to be a pretty close comparison, but let's get right into it. Here's the closer look at the Corrado uh, 70. The Corrado has smaller grips than the SLX, but I think they're more comfortable. That's just my opinion. Also, the length of the handle is a little bit longer on the SLX, which could be an advantage or it could be a disadvantage. They're both very smooth, and that noise you're hearing on the Corrado, it's just from the line whenever I reel it, hitting the sides. So that, it won't do that if you don't have line on it. So, one thing I like about the SLX that I don't like about the Corrado is that the thumb bar on the Corrado, it's like an offset thumb bar, which, I mean, I'd rather it be closed off like this one is. But that's a opinionated thing. Both drag stars click. I think the Corrado is a little bit louder on the click. Um, and this bull tension knob on the Corrado doesn't click, nor does it click on the SLX. Next thing to do is open them up. To open the Corrado up, there's a little switch right here. You just flip it to where it says open and you can twist down and just pull it open. The this the Corrado has four internal brakes, but it also has external brakes. Whoops. While the SLX does not have external brakes, but it does. Let me open it up for you here. It does have six internal brakes and the side plate does not come all the way off on the SLX just feeling it in my hand um, I think the Corrado is much more comfortable just because I think it's a little bit smaller in the, the body I think the body of it's just a little bit smaller so it fits really well in my hand and I like how this is curved and this one's more like this it has like a jag here and then it's more flat here so it kind of just feels like you just put your hand on something flat as this as on the Corrado it's curved so your hand just naturally fits right in it like that the spool size on the SLX is actually larger than the spool size on the Corrado, let me get the box here and I'll be able to tell you how much they hold. The SLX can hold 
120 yards of 10-pound mono, 10, 110 yards of 12-pound mono, and 90 yards of 14-pound mono, while the Corrado can only hold 105 yards of 10-pound mono, only 85 yards of 12-pound mono, and 70 yards of 40-pound mono, 14-pound mono. My bad. Again, thank you for watching. I say if you have the money, I guess you buy both of them, honestly. They're so good reels that you can't go wrong having both of them. But if I was going to recommend to you to buy one of them, I think I'd have to recommend the SLX because it keeps up with about the same specs as the Corrado. It's just it's $120 cheaper, and I don't think the advantages that the Corrado has is worth $120. So, if you're looking to buy a new reel, I'd say you go with the SLX. That's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.